We know that aggregates play a most important role in load bearing of pavement. They are the prime materials used in the construction. They have to bear different magnitudes of stresses due to the wheel loads and they have to resist the wear due to the abrasive action of traffic, the deteriorations due to weathering and the highest magnitude of the wheel load stresses. Everybody knows that the aggregates are prepared by crushing of a natural rock and they are specified on their grain size, shape, texture and their gradation. Now let's talk about some of the desirable properties that our aggregates should possess during their service life. Sometimes the aggregate in the pavement layers are subjected to impact due to heavy wheel loads, which shows that they should possess the toughness property or the resistance to impact. Sometimes the aggregate in the pavement cores have to withstand the high magnitude of load stresses, which shows that they should possess the hardness property. Also, our aggregates should have enough resistance to crushing and they should not disintegrate under adverse conditions including alternate wet, dry and freeze thaw cycles. Also, our aggregate should not be porous and should have high specific gravity values. After that, our aggregates should not be too flaky or too much elongated. Too flaky and elongated aggregates should be avoided as far as possible. And lastly, the affinity or addition of aggregates with bituminous binders plays an important role. The surface characteristics of aggregates should have high affinity with bitumen binders. What happens is on prolonged stagnation of water on the pavement, the water tries to penetrate into the binders and also into the aggregates. If our aggregates are porous, then the water will try to remove the binder from the surface of the aggregates and which results in if a wheel will pass over the pavement when the bitumen will stuck with the wheel and then stripped off from the pavement which will deteriorate our pavement so in this case we try to avoid porous aggregates and secondly we try to have greater affinity of aggregates with the bituminous binders and the last point I've written that resistance from getting polished. Getting polished means whenever we try to rub aggregates, the aggregates try to make a smooth surface. If it happens on pavement that on repeated movement of vehicles, the aggregate are making smooth surfaces, then it will not provide enough friction to the vehicles and our vehicles will slip off of the aggregates which is very dangerous so our aggregates should have enough resistance from getting polished this is what it means